We will now study the simplest form of logic called combinational logic. For the remainder of this course, we will deal at the level of logic and make only passing reference to the transistors that perform this logic. The simplest form of logic occurs where the outputs depend only on the present state of the inputs. This is called combinational logic. Combinational logic has no memory of past states nor anticipation of future states. In previous videos, we presented this form of logic as a logic tree. In this video, we will introduce the conventional tools for presenting and analyzing this logic. Each input and output is represented by a short label. As we begin, we will use single letter labels A, B and C for inputs and X, Y, and Z for outputs. As we proceed, we will use labels that are more self-explanatory. At any particular time, each input and output is in a particular state, true or false. We more frequently represent these values as numbers, 0 for false, 1 for true. This sets us up for binary arithmetic. The ensemble of present input states is also called the input state. Likewise, the ensemble of output states is called the output state. Together, the ensemble input and output states are known as the state of the circuit or of the system. There are three tools that we use to analyze combinational logic. The logic diagram, the truth table, and Boolean algebra. We will demonstrate each of these using the two input AND operation. The logic diagram is essentially the same as the logic tree, but follows more rigorous conventions. First, the inputs are always placed on the left, the outputs on the right. Second, connecting lines always follow the strict horizontal vertical grid. Lastly, logic operations are represented as devices having conventionalized symbols. Most of my logic diagrams will be drafted using Logisim. Logisim is an open source logic simulation software for academic use. As simulation software, Logisim allows you to control the inputs and displays the corresponding output. Simulation is important as it allows you to test your design before burning it into transistors. The truth table is used to show the output for all possible input states. The inputs are arrayed in columns on the left, the output on the right. For two inputs, there are four possible input states arranged in rows. The order of the input states corresponds to that of binary counting. Starting with all zeros, the rightmost bit is counted from 0 to 1. When this bit returns to 0, the next bit on the left increases to 1, and counting of the right bit resumes. This process continues until the input state contains all 1s. The output state is determined by the logic operations concerned. In Boolean algebra, the logic operations are transformed to look like arithmetic. Note, however, that conventionally the inputs are placed on the right and the outputs on the left. This Boolean expression will be read as x is equal to a and b. By making it look like arithmetic, we can perform logic simplification by applying familiar arithmetic rules like inversion and factorization.